Somebody say, I won't go back. Well, we are here tonight for two nights of praise, power, and anointing. Are you glad about it? Well, on behalf of my husband, Bishop Warren Pullings, we want to welcome you here tonight. Our soul is delighted. We are not going to delay. We're going to get right into it. Are you in great anticipation? I know I am. My soul! My soul. All right, I'm going to try to hold it together tonight. It's a personal thing for me. Amen. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do all this. It's beyond the surface. God is moving in this place tonight. The enemy is so upset because he has lost major ground already. Oh, come on. He's lost major ground. And on tonight, amen, God has sent one of his best. That anointed singer, teacher, preacher, prophet is to the nations. My spiritual mom, Dr. Juanita Bynum, come on, let's praise the Lord for this ministry gift. Amen. 
that's why I sing hallelujah. Amen. That's why I sing hallelujah. Amen. You just lift your hands all over the building. song that we sing is a song that has two messages it says I glorify God for who he is and all that I have expected of him is already done and so I sing hallelujah because I praise him and in the face of the devil I say amen because it's finished that's why I sing hallelujah. Amen. Can everybody say that little part with me? That's why we sing hallelujah. Amen. Come on, everybody, and sing it one more time. This time, think of something that you got the victory over. We sing hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Wow. You may be seated in the presence. Thank you, Jesus. How excellent is your ways. How marvelous is your name. How wondrous is your ways. Because you're the Lord, my King. That's why I sing hard. This is what you call house church. <laughs> this is what you call when you're in your bathroom and you just start thinking about. <laughs> you ain't got no piano. You ain't got no praise team. You ain't got no organ. This is when, you, when that thing hits you and you think about something that only God could have done. And you know you about can't even have sing, but you... We sing hallelujah. Tell the devil hallelujah. Cause it's amen, amen. We sing hallelujah. I sing hallelujah. So says hallelujah, cause it's amen, already done, already done. You can be seated in the divine presence of my Jesus, my Jesus is here, and I give honor and praise to his name and his presence and the embodiment of the heavenly host that is present in this place to the body of Christ and to two of the most precious children that I think I have ever 
given spiritual birth to. I said to them that I can, a mother can always tell, no matter how long it's been, if a child is still hers. Because when you see them, they still look like they're five. And they still look like they're five years old, fighting over crayons. And I just honor the Lord for both of them tonight. And I am humbled and honored to be standing in their ministry tonight. Will you please stand up and give a good God bless you to Bishop Pullins and Dr. Medina Pullins all over the building if you would do that for me, please. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody in the room, if you would stand, please, because I wouldn't be in this place if it had not been for them praying and asking the Lord. You may be seated in his presence because in this hour of the timing of my Jesus, I don't do favors, not even for my relatives. I don't preach unless God has given me something to say. I don't need a revival and I'm not on a hustle. I just want to please my Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here and I'd like to give honor to all of the elders and any pastors in the building and any evangelists and teachers. Also, never want to disrespect you in any way. My, my son leaned over and said, you know, mother, they had the heat on. I said, baby, I preach in Africa and all them places. I ain't. My, my ministry was, we started out in a warehouse in 100 degree weather, literally, 10 walls. And you just learn that um, when it's God, he said in season and out of season. Whether you standing in a brush harbor or a chandelier church, you still got to preach the same. Oh, come over here, somebody. So it feels good in here to me. Feels good in here to me because I'm in the spirit. It feels good in here to me. As I have been moving in a word that God had given me and understanding the depth of where God is taking us, and I want you to just bear with me just for a second because we're talking about some very profound things in the scripture that I want to lead out with is in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter and the 10th verse. The third chapter and the 10th verse. And though I'm reading from another illustration of the word, it will mean the same. It will mean the same. And I believe that many of you will get God's point, will get his point. The scripture says that he also has planted eternity in men's hearts. He has planted eternity in men's hearts. Watch this. And minds. A, watch this. A divinely sense of purpose working through the ages which nothing under the sun but God alone can satisfy. My God. That was something that hit me when I first read that scripture. It kind of jolted me in a way that uh, lately the word of God kinds of um, has a way of uh, slaying me out in its own way. And I began to weep and cry at the very thought that God saw something about my life that he would choose to put eternity in me. Oh my God, eternity in me. Which means that if the Lord has ever spoke a word in your spirit about your life, it is eternal. Jesus, have mercy. Somebody say, it is eternal. And what I mean by it is eternal, 
Sometimes the enemy can convince us and we can start taking ourselves through what I call unnecessary warfare. You're fighting a battle that's already been fought. You're going after a devil that's already been bound up. We're spending time talking to a demon that's already have lost his power. If you locked all of the doors in this building and if you took uh, Bishop Pullings and for whatever reason and put him out of this building and you locked every door that leads to the entryway of this building we would have no reason to keep standing in here talking about and you ain't coming in here he's not coming in here because he doesn't have an entryway oh my God and when the Bible said that Jesus made an open show of the devil and stripped him of his power then I will not use my mouth not another second talking to a devil that's already bound I'm going to use my mouth to speak those things would be not where is the church as though they were because they already are my God, I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody that's ready to step over into another place because it's not a 21-day fast. It's not a 40-day fast. It's a mind decision. It's making up in your mind. I'm going all the way with Jesus and everything that he said, I choose to believe it. Oh, touch somebody and say, I choose to believe it. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. Jesus, it's my choice. Jesus, tell somebody it's my choice. Tell somebody it's my choice. And see, I'm not, listen, listen, when I tell you, when I tell you to talk to your neighbor, it's because I'm trying to help you to understand that a hindering spirit is not alcohol and a hindering spirit to a believer. It's not, it's not drugs, but it's the danger of sitting next to somebody that don't know the same Jesus you talking about. I'm not getting nobody to talk to me. You better shake yourself because I feel, I feel something in this building tonight and we will never never be the same never be the same never Woo. I done already took off some of y'all on the runway somebody in here better start somebody better give my praise I done already took off some of y'all on the runway no 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 we don't have time we don't have time to work it up we ain't got time to press it up you got to walk in the spirit knowing that everything God said he's not a man that he should lie uh, sit down sit down sit down sit down let me just let me calm myself down Ooh, he has put huh, huh, he has put eternity in me Ooh, some of y'all but Dr. Bannon, I don't think I'm going to make it. What are you talking about? What are you talking about when eternal, eternal life is constantly replicating itself in you? What do you mean you're not going to make it? No, baby, you're going through a crazy moment because the deal is already done. It's not. Y'all come on here. Come on here. I said the deal is already done. Can't no devil in hell shake nothing that God said. I'm not hearing nobody talk. The Bible said that he knows the way that I'm supposed to take. And when God gets through, not the devil, but when God gets through. Huh. Wait a minute. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. When God when God gets through trying to figure out where did that word land? So you're being tested because he got to find out where did the prophecy land? Did it land in your head? Oh, y'all come on here. Did it land in your intellect? Now come on here. Because watch this. If your intellect is your faith, then all the devil got to do is trip you up with words. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. Where did the promise, where did the prophecy land? Who spoke it? How do you know it took root? How do you know that? How do you know? Sit down. I'm, I'm, how do you know that I'm standing on the promises of, of Christ my Savior? How do you know? How do you know no weapon formed against you? 
huh, can prosper. How do you know that? Oh, y'all, come on. Well, 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 prophet, it's because I feel like going up. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. Well, then if you make your faith, your, if you make your faith, your feelings, and all the devil got to do is hurt your feelings, and he got your faith. Okay. Okay, because I understand some, understand some. The only way to understand whether or not you really receive the faith of God, which is the word of God, not a feeling, is that watch this. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have some days where you feel, feel like you're not going to make it because if you didn't have them days, then you would not have a manifestation that no matter what you feel, it doesn't shake or remove what God, what he said what is said wait 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 I gotta I gotta let me just let me just let me just calm down and say this mm -hmm. he has put eternity in men's hearts in the wait 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 so then why can't I why can't I get this what is he said speak those things would be not as though they were and I speak it I, I say it why don't I still see it I'm just looking for some honest people. I ain't looking for the wonders of the lies. I'm looking for some honest people to say, I've been speaking it, but I don't know why I don't see it. I don't know why I don't see it. Whoa. Because see, he was talking to me, sweetheart, when I was getting dressed right there in that black dress. He was talking to me and he said, do you understand one of the things that's wrong with the people in the body of Christ? He said, they're trying to make me, they're trying to make me use their heart to produce a miracle. He said, when the heart they have don't have the capacity to do that. I'm not giving you your heart that you got does not have the capacity to hold the miraculous. Neither can it conceive the miraculous. Neither can it produce the miraculous. Who am I talking to? But the book of Ezekiel, the 11th chapter said, I will take out of him a heart of stone and put a heart in him that can and will respond to me. Wait, 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 respond. Respond. Oh, yeah. Respond. What am I saying? Let me say. Hey, your boss. That he sat out, Shanda. Head of Shanda. The one you got gonna fail. The one you got don't have the capacity to stand up against a storm when the storm come. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. See, some of y'all said, well, you know what? I, I, I would. The Lord said, come after me with your whole heart. And so we give God our hearts, but we only give him the part that's getting on our nerves. I'm not hearing y'all. Come on. Come on, where's it? We only give him the part that bother me. Uh, the part that depress me. Y'all ain't said the part that keep me up all night. Uh, the part that makes me cry. The part that makes me weary. But the other stuff that's in my heart that I want to keep. That's the stuff that I'm protecting. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. And so guess what God is saying. When I sent Jesus, I didn't send a piece of him. I didn't send his leg. I didn't send you an arm. I sent you his whole self. Why then are you trying to piece me off heart? Here, here's a little bit here, God. Here's, no, no, sit down, sit down. Here's a little bit here, Lord, and here's a little bit here. No, no, I'm going somewhere with this one. Here, here's, here's, a, here's a little bit here. It's a little bit there. And, and Lord, I believe you one day, and the next day I don't. I'm, I'm shouting in church one minute, and the next minute I'm suicidal. Woo, y'all, I'm not... I'm just preaching the truth right now. One minute, I, 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 I'm standing on the word. Y'all ain't saying that. And the next minute, everything about me is rocking and shaking. And I can't find nobody to talk to because the people I'm talking to, they just as depressed as I am. And, and, and watch it. I'm trying to find comfort in the church. And the church is messed up. I'm trying to find. I'm not hearing y'all. Talk back to me. What y'all talking about? No, no. I'm looking around for the miracles of God. And the only thing that they foresee is miracles. There's something financial. When look for getting money. I need peace. Oh, I'm not hearing. No, no, no. Forget about a car. I need God to do something in my mind. What are you talking about? No, I need to be able to sleep at night. I need to be able to drive down the street. And not hear voices in my head I need help 
I'm not kidding y'all. I wish I had a church in here. Oh, Jesus. No, no, if you really, if you really came for the right reason, touch a neighbor and say, I need help. I need, I need, I need, I need help. I need help. No, no, tell your neighbor, I need help. No, help. No, I need real help. Come on, somebody, because that's who I'm preaching to. I didn't come to preach to no church people. I didn't come to preach to no religious people. I came to make a deposit in somebody that will take the mask off and say, I need help. I need help. My belly need help. I ain't had a gully washing from God in a long time. I'm tired of being touched. I want to be transformed. Wait, 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 sit down, let me, wait a minute, wait a minute, sit down, let me, sit down, cause I'm, yeah, 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 oh, about Shanda, say to Shanda, hara do kosia, sura da bakasete bahaya, Shanda. I gotta walk these aisles. I need you to move, baby. I need you to go all the way to the back because I'm coming while I'm walking. Somebody being delivered while I'm walking. Somebody being set free. The Bible said all the while Jesus was preaching, demons was coming out. What are you talking about? If you want to be free, there it is. If you want deliverance, it's yours now. You ain't got to wait till the message is over. Grab what God is saying for you and get your deliverance right now. Somebody start shouting in here oh. Oh, I don't shout. hey I, I hear wait a minute I, sit, sit down I hear I, I'm just I'm just listening for something come on I'm listening for something I'm listening for something I'm listening for something sis I'm trying to see if I can hear Zion. Help! I'm trying to hear if I can see Zion. Help! I'm trying to hear if I can hear Zion. Travella! Because the Bible said, when Zion travels, she, she, she brings, she brings. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 sit down so I, me. You know, they tell you when you, you got to just think about something else. Let me think, let me think. See, let me, let me just, let me help you with this. See, I come over here and I'm talking to this plant. I'm talking to this, to this flower pot. I want to talk to this one because it's, Kind of standing level with me. I'm going across this floor. And when I get over there, I want you to be behind me. In Jesus' name. I walk across the floor. I turn around. No plant is following me. The plant is still over there. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I command you right now. I command you, plant. You don't disobey me when I walk. I command that you get yourself over there and you be behind me and I take authority over you. All right. I'm walking over here. Where is the plant? Where is the plant? Oh, well then let's try this. Let's try this one because this one seemed to work in the church. Oh, 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 oh. Follow me. I get over here. Where is the plant? Where is the plant? The plant is still over there because inside of the plant does not contain the heart that will respond to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. What kind of heart is sitting in your chest? I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. You trying to make God give.
give you a miracle and you ain't even got his heart. Only God's heart produces miracles. Only God's heart is the one that can bind the hand of the devil, not the church heart. church heart wait wait I gotta say this I gotta say this I gotta say this he said I would take out of you the heart that is non-responsive as bad as you want yourself to live right and walk in miracles it can't happen Y'all sit down, let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you why for real. It can't happen. Because we say the scripture, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's not talking about the mind of the brain. He's talking about the mind of the heart. <laughs> That's why he said, whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, Y'all, I'm not hearing y'all. Not whatsoever he thinketh in his mind because your mind gonna always think something. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. But it's my heart that keeps getting me in trouble because scientists have proven that the heart is the power source. It's your heart that will make you jump up and do something without even thinking about it. It's your heart that overrides your reason. Oh, y'all. Have you ever did something to say? Why did I do that? Well, maybe I'm the only one. Have you ever, have you ever said something and said, I shouldn't have said that. Watch this, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have did that. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have went over there. I shouldn't have did that. I knew better than that, but I don't know why I did that. Well, I, oh, Jesus, I feel so bad because now I did that. But watch this. Scientists have proven. <laughs> Scientists have proven that <laughs> no machine can tell them the second that the heart begins to beat in a fetus. The scientists have proven that it is not the brain that develops first. It is the heart that determines whether or not there's life. Y y come on here, somebody. I just wish I had somebody to say something. I just had, I, and, 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 so, and so the frame of the body, the frame of the body couldn't even have eyeballs. The frame of the body could still be missing some toes. And the frame of the body could still be, could still be missing a few, a few fingers and, and, and all of that. But, 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 but guess what? The reason why the devil, watch this, the reason why the devil can't count you out because you still got a heartbeat. No, 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 y'all, come on here. Come on here. Come on. No, no. You may not have everything yet that God said it shall be. But, 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 I got a heartbeat. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me, let me, let me. No, no, no. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. So the scientist says, no machine can tap into. This is important that I stop and say this. The second, it starts beating. And that's what they call the miracle of life. Oh and, 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 now, now, in that heart, because it is the miracle of life, it is the first connector to the human body, to its creator. Which means the heart immediately comes into existence in the mother's womb and it takes on the image of God. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I got to say that one more time for somebody who missed that. I said the heart immediately comes into the body. And the instant it goes, boom, boom. It takes, it hasn't been introduced to the world yet. It takes on the body of God. It takes on the spirit of God. Y'all, because the Bible said that Jesus is alive. The Bible said that God is alive. Immediately, the heart takes on life. It is when you get into the world it's the church people that kills your life on the when you got born again you started beating with the heart 
of God. That was the days that you believed that God can do anything. Those were the days that you never doubted anything that God told you. Guess what? Because you were a newborn. I was newborn. Wait, wait, wait. I, that's the days that you would jump up and praise God. And somebody would say, she always shouted. You didn't know no better. That's when Deacon Wallace would get up and open up with prayer. And that's the time when everybody else is in the bathroom doing their makeup. And you come out of church talking about Deacon Wallace really did pray. And everybody looking at you like, he didn't do nothing. He always prayed like that. He's 74 years old. He just be moaning, but you said, that bless my soul. Because you are newborn, which means you are in tune to the things of the spirit. You don't know yet how to be funny and how to be finicky. You don't know yet how to choose what you like and what you don't like. You just so glad to be in the kingdom. You don't know whether to act funny or not. Every time you hear Jesus, you shout. Your washing machine be saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. I just wish I had somebody in here that understood what God was saying. You got to ask God for his heart. Oh, y'all, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. You got to let yours go because yours will only keep producing what you see now. You are a manifestation of the ability and the capability of your heart. Wait a minute. I did, I, did, did, did somebody hear me say that? Did somebody hear me? Wait a minute. Did you hear me say that? So he said, I will take out of you the heart of flesh, the one that has grown calluses to what I say and think. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And then I'm going to put one in you. Watch this. Now this is the part that got me. I'm going to put in you a new heart. We keep trying to make God fix this one. He's not going to do that. I'm not hearing y'all. Lord, fix my... He's not a contractor. He's a miracle worker. I'm not hearing y'all tell me. No! He ain't fixing your heart he wants you to have a new heart one that already comes with miracles in it one that already comes with power in it one that already comes with the anointing no 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 i got it So the scripture said, my heart will teach me what to say. Because out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth speaks. I'm not hearing y'all. So then that says to me. That your heart must not be filled with the miraculous. Because if it was out of your mouth, you would be talking like that. And because of what you say, you would be producing that. I'm not hearing y'all. Listen, positive confession is not teeth and tongue. No, ma'am. Positive confession is what I hear my heart saying. Because that's what it's full of. And that's why when a person got a new heart. Oh, I'm going to say something right here. That's why you see people going through and they still shouting. And you say, what's he shouting for? That's why you see people going through the fire and they still praising. That's why you see people and you know what they're going through in their family. But they still giving God glory. You know they don't have food. You know they don't know where they're going to get the next check from. But because their heart is filled up with the miraculous, they can bless God because he has never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed big bread. Let me help you with let me help you with this because okay let me bring something materialistic into play 
when God gave this to me. He said, a new heart. A new, I want to give you a new one. I said, huh? He said, no, I want to give you a divine heart. Okay, watch this. He said, I want to give you the heart that contains the miracle that you need. Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, and it's going to go way over some of y'all here. You don't have to pray for miracles. I didn't hear nobody say nothing. You don't have to... You don't have to pray for miracles. I, I didn't hear nobody say nothing. No, no. You ain't got to travail for a breakthrough. Yeah, that comes with the heart. You know, that's like buying a new car and they tell you got to wait on the steering wheel. Uh -huh. That's like buying a new car and they tell you pay the full price, but you ain't going to get the motor for another two years. You don't get what I'm saying. The reason why this boy is still standing in this pulpit, it ain't because somebody prayed, but it's because somebody's heart somewhere contained the capacity to produce the miraculous. It's a whole lot of people praying and ain't getting what they're praying for because they're trying to produce it out of a heart that will not respond to God. Oh, Jesus. I just, I just said something like this. I just. Now, let me help you with this one. Let me help you with this one. Lord, I. Lord, I need a miracle. Who am I preaching to? Let me see your hand if you feel like I'm preaching to you tonight. Lord, I need a miracle. I praise you, Jesus, for a miracle. I thank you, Lord, for being here. And here come the usher. Sitting Sister Jenkins down by you. And you turn around to your sister. Honey, I'm getting up because she ain't going to sit next to me. Because I'm sorry, but I ain't forgot what she did last year. And I ain't sitting next to no devil. All right, there it is right there. That's your proof right there. You ain't got God's heart. You still got yours. And you still trying to produce what's godly out of something that's fleshy. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. And that's why the new heart comes with forgiveness. The new heart comes with brokenness. The new heart comes with prayer in it. Ain't nobody got to make you pray. The new heart comes with love in it. The new heart comes with peace. It comes with joy. It comes with endurance. It Y'all ain't saying that. It comes with loving kindness. It comes with a miracle. It comes with healing already sitting in it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait. Wait, I thought the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I saying? When God gave me this and our church started operating in the new heart. He said the new heart heals the sick. The new heart raises the dead. I ain't hear nobody. The new heart, watch this, raises the dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. The encyclopedia says that when a person is born, they born with a full heart and 50% of their intelligence. And if within the first couple of years of birth, if the mother, <laughs> that's what the book said. I didn't make that up. It said if the mother and the family does not provoke that child, does not provoke that child to go into speedy learning, after two years, it'll be retarded. Uh -huh, that understands why we got the church and the body of Christ sitting here retarded. Everything you need, somebody got to pray for you. Somebody got to lay hands on you. I'm not giving y'all. Somebody better say something. Somebody said, God deliver me. Because guess what? That retarded spirit has to be broken off of you. Because you don't know the power that's available to you. And guess what? The book of Ezekiel said, there shall be no more delays. Which means when you speak it, while you are speaking.
Somebody said, well, what you going to do with the scripture? Prophetess that says, they that wait on the Lord. Well, well wait if you have to wait. wait. Waiting is for those that have to wait. I'm not hearing y'all. Waiting is for those that have to wait. Jesus, watch this, watch this, watch. Let me show you something. Let me show you a good example of what I'm saying. The man comes to Jesus. 24-hour miracles is going to start taking place from this meeting. You're going to see your issue and your situation break tonight. Okay. No, I'm not old prophet is buying them. I said you're going to see your body. Every sickness that is in this room, you cannot stay because I feel the heart of God. And it don't pump disease, it don't pump sickness, it don't pump being crippled, it don't pump retardation. I'm not giving y'all talk back to me. Wait a minute. Sit down. I got to do this. I got to do this. Touch somebody and tell them I'm being healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, come on now. Come on now. Don't say it like you're just saying something. Touch somebody and say I'm being healed. Tell them I'm being healed. I'm being healed. I'm being healed. Tell them right now I'm being healed. My mind is being healed. My mind is stuck in my issue. My mind is stuck in what I've been through. I've been going through so long. I don't even know how to imagine that I got joy but this very moment. I believe because the Bible said believe his prophet and so shall. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about spiritual wealth. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Uh uh, sit down. Sit down, because something getting ready to happen. Something getting ready to happen. Jesus. Shout out, Bobo Shit. Shout out, I see it on you. I see it on you. I see it all on you. And God said tonight, if you will give him an old praise. See, that's your new praise. He said, if you would reach back and give him an old praise. In 24 hours, he's going to show you his hand. Somebody in here better give God a praise. Because see, some of y'all don't understand. Some of y'all don't understand. Some of y'all don't understand that you should have been dead. That you shouldn't even be here. You should have been crazy. But guess what? The way you praising him now, that wasn't the praise that got you through it. That wasn't the praise that gave you the victory. I hear the Lord saying, you better go back and get your own praise. You better praise him out of your belly. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout! Shout! Oh, we done got cute! Shout! We done got sophisticated! Shout! We done got organized! You better shout out of your belly! Hey, 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 hey! 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 hey. Sit down! Wait, 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 sit down! I gotta tell you this. Sit down. The lady up there. You got on a white sweater with gold coming down the front with a fan in your hand. The Holy Ghost said it's over. He said it's over. He said tonight he breaks it. Tonight it is over. Somebody help her. Praise God. Somebody help. Listen. I got to give you this example. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down at that bush. You know what I heard the Lord say? I heard the Lord say this to us a couple of weeks ago. He said the church got the Holy Spirit, but they done lost the Holy Ghost. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. 
I'm not here nobody y'all done lost the Holy Ghost some of y'all praise God like you don't even know God some of y'all praise God like you don't know he's Lord some of y'all praise God like you done forgot you have something wrong with your mind cause you done forgot where he brought you from you done forgot who you really was you done forgot what he did for you but as for me I can still see in my review mirror where the Lord has brought me from Sit, sit down for a second, and then I'm going to be through. I'm going to be through. Hold that side. 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 I feel it in this area right here. Hold that side. You better give him a prize. Yeah. Yeah. He said, let me help you. Let me help you. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Shia! Down in our spirit, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Way down in our spirit, Jesus. Somebody give God a shout. tell you I got to give you this illustration so you can know wait a minute so you can know that right now in this building this very second your healing y'all I ain't talking about I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about I'm talking about this devil you will see no more okay y'all I'm not I can't get nobody to say nothing I'm not talking about temporary freedom talking about this demon you will see no more I'm talking about God y'all better come over here and give him a praise you ain't gotta fight no more you gotta praise him oh shayabasha wait 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 so, so sit down let me give you where we are let me give you how I know I'm going to tell you what I think. How I know that the breaking of the issue is broken. See, I, there's a little delayed reaction, but it's okay. Let's expect it. New news is expected for a monetary, a momentary delay. So I'm going to give you that one. How do you say that? Prophetess, why do you say that? Because the Bible said, watch this, watch this. Jesus was minding his own business. And the man comes to him and says, Master, he gave me this prophetical. My daughter is 12 years old. And my daughter is sick and dying. Can you come to my house? I'm going to show you that I didn't, just, I didn't just show up in this church tonight. I'm going to show you that me being here ain't got nothing to do with them being my kids because I could have met them at Denny's for lunch. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. I didn't have to come to a church to see them. I'm trying to help you understand that my being here is your divine moment. I'm trying to tell you that there's a portal that's been opened up in the spirit realm. And the reason why I came, because God is shifting everything to the next dimension. Somebody better give him a shout. Even if you don't believe it, you better shout. Even if you don't believe it. Wait. Let me help us. No, no, no. Let me give you facts. Can I give you, can I give you two facts? Sit down. When Lazarus was called, had Shande, from the grave, there are certain things that you will go through that would not require your faith for deliverance because it's too massive for your heart to understand it. There's some stuff that some of y'all done been through. You ain't got the faith to believe it because you really
woman had died in the trial. I'm not, you know him. When Jesus walked to Lazarus' tomb, he didn't say you will get up if you have faith. He didn't ask him to have faith. He asked him to respond when I call out your issue. When I tell you to shout tonight, I'm not asking you if you got faith. I said just shout anyhow. Somebody shout right now. Let me help you. Hey, Shakebo Shak. Hobi Ashanda. Here I am, Shandy. Let me help you with something. Let me help you. Bobo Bobo Shaka Bobo Bobo Shaka. Shop. Here I am, Bobo Shaka. You're not coming out because you believe it. You're coming out because it's time. You're coming out because it's time. You're coming out because it is time. Somebody just give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a it's time praise. Somebody give him a praise that says, God, help my unbeliever. But at your word, like Mary said, be it done unto me. sit down sit down so I can I can give you this last piece of prophecy B when you take your seat I want you to say be it done unto me <laughs> say according to your word no no be it done unto me oh come on somebody you don't even know what you're saying no 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 we don't need faith in the building tonight we just need a spirit that said be done unto me Oh, y'all come over here, somebody. We just need, come on, somebody. When God sent the prophet to the valley of dry bones, he didn't walk out there and say, is there any bones out here that believe? Is there any bones out here that want to trust God? The Bible said that whatever you want to see happen to the bones, I'm giving you power. You prophesy. And I speak it tonight that it's over. I speak it tonight. I'm just looking for somebody to praise him. I'm just looking for somebody to act like. No, I, 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 wait, 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 I'm a, sit, sit down. Sit down. Okay, so what it is, he said, it's what, it's what the prophet, he said, Lord, can all of these people in this building, no matter what they issue, can they be free for real tonight? He says, Lord, you know. But the Lord didn't tell him. He said, yeah, I know. But you prophesied to him. And I'm going to do Y'all ain't got there yet. Y'all ain't got there yet. Y'all ain't got, you ain't talking about some prophetess that's talking about she pray. No, 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 y'all ain't got there yet. He said, whatever you say, when you go, I'm going to send you to assess. I'm going to send you to assess the room. I'm going to send you to stand in the atmosphere. And whatever you see, I'm going to honor what you say. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me. And tonight I speak it. And I ain't seen nothing that he gave me thus far hit the ground. I speak it that tonight by 12 o'clock, every tormenting demon, you don't give a... I wish somebody would start shouting. I need somebody to... Wait, 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 wait a minute. The man, the Lord said, Wow. 
I just saw, I just saw in the spirit, it was a tornado and it came, but the difference is it didn't touch down, it went over houses, Harodo Shanda, of people in this building and everything that was a hindrance got sucked up and through. You don't hear what I'm saying? My sister can tell you, since God has taken me to another dimension, I see as clear as glass. If I say God going to do it, he going to do it. Hope you are shunned. I hear the Lord said, don't pray about it no more. I hear the Lord said, don't pray about it no more. I hear the Lord said, tonight is a night of jubilee. I hear the Lord said, tonight is a night of victory. I'm not here nobody talk to me. I hear the Lord said, don't ask me again because I just did it. All about Sunday. Wait. See, some of y'all, some of y'all say, I don't know. No. I said shout Wait a minute I'm going to give you a testimony Hold on because I need to help y'all I need to help you with this one I was in Detroit City About two months ago And Bishop The same spirit I feel in here right now Right this minute this very second. I felt it in that church. And, and I've only felt it once since, and that was in my church. Not this past Sunday, but last Sunday. And I turned around to the bishop and I said, I know you're a bishop, and I don't want you to think I'm disrespecting you, man of God. I said, but God told me that he wanted everybody to shout. I said, and when I saw you shouting, I said, the Lord told me to tell you to run around this church. Run around this church three times. I said, and God said, when you run around this church, I see debt cancellation. I see millions of dollars. Cancellation. Somebody better get God to pray. I hear the scripture saying, you shall not be made ashamed. I hear the scripture saying, man of God, you shall not be made ashamed. I hear debt cancellation. And God is healing his body as he runs. Be healed by the power of God. Somebody better give God a praise in here. Y'all standing here watching. I said bless him.
let me say this while Bishop Nim are under this anointing let me say let me say this while they under this anointing and while this building is under this anointing I said debt cancellation I said man of God I see the Lord delivering you from millions of dollars he took off running just like Bishop did tonight. So by Shia. I went back to Detroit about two weeks ago. And the man of God got up and testified. He said, Prophet Bible, what you did not know is when you told me that my church was in foreclosure. He said, my church and six other churches, the bank foreclosed and the bank shut down. The bank went out of business and it foreclosed all six of the other churches. And they called me and said, we're going to forgive your church for $2.4 million and gave him the deed. Y'all better come over here. You better come over here. I said miracles. I said. Somebody shout! Hold on. Hold on. Every detail is being worked out. Somebody shout! Let me give it to you. He said, while Jesus was on his way to the man's house, watch this, his daughter died. I'm gonna tell you why it's prophetic that I'm in this building tonight. <laughs> the daughter died. And watch this. The daughter died. That ain't nothing too hard for God. Ain't nothing too hard for my Jesus. Ain't nothing too hard for my Jesus. Look at me. I'm still here. Cause ain't nothing too hard for my Jesus. Somebody be here shook. Yeah! Oh! A miracle mindset. Watch this. Watch this. Healing. Watch this. Watch this. So y'all ready? Listen. Jesus was on his way. But I need you to hear this. Because you really need to get this. You need to get this because it's a revelation that he revealed to us. 12. 2012. I'm standing in this building. Jesus was on his way to heal a little girl. That was 12 years old. But while he was walking, because he had the spirit, because he had the spirit of 12 in him, the woman that had the issue of blood for 12 long years, she reached out while Jesus was headed to do it for somebody else. And she, she touched the hem of his garment because that kind of miraculous healing was in him. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. That's why you better praise God right now. Because whatever it is, I can't get nobody to kill me. Whatever it is, Jesus, he's passing by. You better reach out and touch him. Somebody touch him. Touch him with your shout. Touch him. Oh. I gotta go. Y'all sit down. I gotta go. Sit down for a second. I gotta go. Sit down. Sit down. Let me. Let me just. Let me just. Let me help myself.
See, the reason why I know he's doing it, because I'm trying to relieve y'all of hard work. I'm trying to relieve you tonight to go and get the miracle. Hello, Sunday. Happy Sunday. I'm trying to relieve you to go ahead and get your breakthrough. I'm trying to release you tonight. Because what I'm telling you is I got the faith for you tonight. You just go ahead and praise him. I just wish I had somebody in here. Help! I got the faith for you. I'm trusting in fire. I'm believing in fire. He my Jesus. He my Jesus. And he ain't never fail. Because there is no failure in my God. Oh. I got to go. I got to go. And then he took me and I closed. I'm prophetically supposed to be here. And then he took me to Ezekiel 47 and 12. And he said to me, be careful where you put your feet. He said to me in prayer, be careful where you plant your feet. Be careful who you preach for. He said, because all the while you're going to be preaching, you're going to drop the miraculous in the building. Okay, you ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing, but the carpet got miracles now. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to put the walls in here got miracles. You ain't got to say nothing. And testimonies getting ready to start coming like you don't believe. And it ain't going to be because nobody prayed. Miracles. Miracles. Cancer. Miracles. HIV. Miracles. It's in the carpet. It's in the carpet. I hear the Lord said, if you can just get them in the building. I hear the Lord said, if they sick. If they in trouble. Hey, if you can get them in the building. miraculous the miraculous the miraculous you're gonna tell people they're gonna say where you going you're gonna tell them i'm gonna drop this stuff in the miraculous i'm going to walk are y'all understanding what i'm saying he said in ezekiel 47 and 12 he said prophesy this everywhere i send you and that's why some places you can't go because it ain't a prophecy he said but this is a prophecy for the house ezekiel 47 and 12 and they shall bear fruit every month i'm not hearing y'all talk to me you better tell your neighbor february i got something coming march and april may june july august september October, November, December. Hey! Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor this. See, this is how I act to God. This is the way I act toward God. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Every month. Every month, God, you promised that I was going to have miracles. Every month, you promised I was going to bear fruit. Now you ain't got but a few more days. You ain't got but a few more days. Cause I got to see something. Help! Somebody better get God a praise. Hold on, shut up. You better give him a praise. If you're watching my stream, you better give God a praise. Because miracles is in the house. Hey! Hey! Hi! Hi! Wait. Let me tell you how prophetic it is. And I'm gonna I'm gonna quit tonight. I see you tomorrow night, but let me tell you how prophetic this is. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Let me tell you this. When Jesus got to, that's how I got this robe. Because I dreamed it in Africa. And he said, I wanted you to, to wear and preach in the, in, the, in the prayer cloth. And so I dreamed it. But watch this. You got to hear me so you will know that it's factual. 
I had it made in Africa. When I got back, the Lord took me to the story of a little girl that was 12. And the Bible said, son, that Jesus walked into the room and he put the unbelievers out. Baby girl, he said, he said, Talitha Kumi. And Talitha Kumi, is she that is under the Talit come back to life? Talit is another word for pressure. She that is laying under this pressure come back to life. And not just come back to life, but in 2012, because she is 12 years old. This year, everything that the devil tried to put to death shall come back to life. don't believe it yet. I'm going to take the last little bit of doubt you got and throw it out of here. When Jesus walks up to her, son, and he says, she that is under the talit, come back to life. When the Bible said, and the woman with the issue of blood, for 12 long years, it says she grabbed the hem, the hem of the garment, what they call the hem is the tail end of the prayer shawl. That's considered the, 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 the Hebrew explanation of him. Is she grabbed, watch this, one of the four corners of the prayer shawl. And the knots on the corners of the prayer shawl means the ability and the power of God. And while I'm preaching, one of mine falls off in this church. You better understand what I'm trying to say to you. That the ability, y'all ain't hearing nothing. And the capability, y'all not hearing nothing. And the miraculous, you don't hear me, just dropped off in this building. You better stop. Y'all, I don't care how long you done had it. I don't care how long you've been doing it. So, oh, y'all come on here. The Spirit of the Lord just made intercession and grabbed a hold to the hymn. To the hymn. Come in, Medina. Come in, Medina. To the hymn. Y'all hold hands to the hymn, to the hymn, to the hymn, to the ability, to the ability, to the impossible, to the no I have seen. I ain't hearing y'all talk back in here. Some of y'all act like God is your boyfriend. Baby, let me tell you something. Jesus is Lord. I said Jesus is Lord. I said, G y'all done forgot. Y'all done forgot who God is. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the church God. I'm talking about the God that can still work miracles. I'm talking about the God that still brings back from the dead. I'm talking about people we have prayed for that the doctor have said they are gone. And we threw a prayer show. You don't hear what I'm saying. Here it is. And God is getting ready to use, to use those that nobody ever thought God would use him like that. Y'all don't hear me. My sister right here was a crackhead for 15 years and God used her. She was, oh my God, I can't even tell the story. But a girl in our church had a heart condition and she was going home and the doctors had her on the plane. And because my sister was an intercessor because she had an accident and almost died, they had my sister on the charter. But while she was flying to the Dominican, the plane lost power and started crashing. And my sister came on the black box of Delta and start saying, God, send your angels, the one that's got the rubber band in his way.
strings to catch this plane. I'm talking about a crackhead. Somebody said we're all right. A month before that, I saw it in a dream. I said, Kathy, God told me to tell you to pray because a plane is going down and it's a delta. I said, it's a big plane. Because they know when I say something, I see it now. I said, it's a big plane. And it's a delta plane and it's going down. I said, and I feel in my spirit that somebody we know is on this plane. I said, but God told me to tell you to pray. There was another girl on the plane with her who the doctors had gave up and she... They didn't even expect for her to make it on the flight, so they sent two doctors to pronounce her dead because her heart was that bad. They were just trying to get her home to die in her country. So you got two people on the plane with a heart condition. One of them is fragile, and the other one, they're sane. They already told the family when the plane lands, she could already be dead. So we send in two doctors so that they both can confirm death. The plane lands, and while the plane is falling, they confirm on the charter that both girls is dead. They done died in their seats already from the plane just taking a plunge like that. I saw in the spirit, I said to my sister, when the plane crashes, it's going to skid off the side and it's going to head to a big building that's white with blue windows. And I said, and I see a lot of people dying. When the plane stopped, it stopped within feet of the hospital skidded across the grass, and the building was white with blue windows. Had she not prayed, what I saw was coming to pass. They got the bodies out and laid them on the ground. When they were getting on the plane, the one girl that go to our church said to my sister, she called her Ma, she said, I'm scared. She said, don't be scared, and the Holy Ghost took up. She said, matter of fact, go to the pilot. And tell the pilot that the Holy Ghost said, and say it like I say it. The Holy Ghost said the situation he's dealing with, God said he got it. And don't worry about it. She said, you want me to say that? She said, say it like I said it. She walked on the plane. She said, who the pilot? He said, me. She said, my godmother told me to tell you the Holy Ghost said that the situation you deal with, God got it. The pilot fell over against the wall crying and said it couldn't have been nobody but God. No, I don't think y'all... No, 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 no. My Jesus ain't inside the church walls no more. My Jesus is in the spirit. I'm not hearing y'all. My Je I'm not talking. Y'all better hear me. My Jesus is operating in the carpet in this church. My Jesus and came and sat down in the atmosphere. My Jesus have taken up residence in this house. And if anybody need my Jesus, I dare you to call his name. my sister my sister the ex crackhead that used to eat out of garbage cans and live on the streets hold on shut down she gave up pressure and when they called and said they dead the doctor was crying and all the people was out the plane on the yard and my sister said I gave her pressure do you see it and the doctor said yeah I see it she said, tell the nurse, I said, just walk over there and wrap her whole head up in that pressure. And she said, you want me to do it now? She said, do it right now. My sister's in her prayer room with the door shut. Had been shut in there with God for three days. She said, wrap her head up. And the other girl, they had already zipped her up in the bag because she died first. When they wrapped this girl's head up, she sat up and started coughing. And the doctor faded out on the ground. And all the passengers started screaming. No, wait a minute. But when she woke up and saw her friend was dead, she said, unzip that bag. They unzipped the bag and she threw the pressure over in the bag. And the other girl got up. She didn't just get up. She at home healed. She at home with no heart condition. Y'all better open up your mouth. He said, greater rocks shall we do. The dead is now raising the dead. The same girl went to the doctor a couple of weeks ago, Medina. I can call her Medina because that's my baby. 
And they said, the rod in your back from surgery done shifted. And she said, she came back to the house. And she said, and they said, all right. And I was going through the kitchen to give me some juice. And I said, the rod is shifting because God done healed your back and you don't need the rod no more. And the rod is in the way. She went to the doctor the next week and the doctor said, well, let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is, it looked like your back then came back together and you really don't need the rod right there. She said, she said, prophetess, that's what you said. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. She said, that's what you said. But how about this? How about if the back wasn't doing that? How about because I said it, God had to back me up? No, y'all, y'all, no, 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 no. What your problem is, y'all scared to speak it. What your problem is, you don't know my Jesus. What your problem is, you have met your Jesus by the Jesus that's in the church. I'm not talking about that Jesus. I'm talking about the one that speaks to the wind and the wave and they command his way. I'm not giving y'all talk about. I'm talking about the one, y'all come over here, that heals the sick. I'm talking about the one that resurrected himself. I'm talking about the one that still got power. I'm talking about the one now who has now returned the authority of speech back into the hands of those that possess his heart. Because Jesus in the beginning of time possessed the heart of God. God gave him permission. He said, when I create the world, I ain't gonna do it without him, cause he gotta say it. It's illegal for my spirit to move without the proceeding of the word. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the authority back into the mouth of those that have my heart. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. If y'all would just ask God for a new heart, a lot of stuff you speak, God will do it because he got to back you up. Because the Lord can't, come over here. He can't go against himself. He got to back you up because you got his heart. And guess what? You wouldn't have never spoken unless it came up in the heart of God. Did I just say that? You wouldn't have never decreed your healing unless it came out of the heart of God. Unless it came out of the mind that's in the heart of God. That's what gives you the power to speak it. And can't no devil in hell come against what God have just spoken out of your mouth. You speak it. You shall, you shall have whatsoever. You shall have what the lady called in the radio station and she said, Prophet, I want you to pray for me. She said, I want my son to have the same encounter that I'm having because worship was so high that night on the radio. And I said, I speak it and decree it that he is having an encounter right now. I said, God, give him an encounter. Two days later, she called back and said, Mama, he, the other night, I had an encounter with God. And I said, do you know why that happened? She said, no. I said, because your spirit was having this encounter with God, everything that your spirit is housing is having an encounter. Okay, I, I, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that one more time. And maybe five people will grab that. Everything that's going on in your life at this moment. If you are standing in this building and you can feel the presence of God. Everything in you that's going on in your life is feeling the presence of God. Y'all like it. Everything in you right now is having the same encounter. Y'all better give God a shout right now. I said, lift your hands up all over this building. Yes, ma'am, yes, yes, it's having an encounter. You will never be the same. 
You will never be the same. You will never be the same. And the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost said, tonight, don't be afraid to believe it. Because what you believe in is the truth. You ain't imagining it. What you see and how you see it turning out, God said, that's the way he going to do it. He said, I'm showing you in advance so you can bless him. You can bless my name. Somebody give God a praise in this house. Y'all better give God a praise in this house. You better give God a praise. You better give him a praise in this house. He told me, stop the music for a minute. He told me to sing this song to you. Stand up, you. Lift your hands up. Put that out your hand and lift both your hands. You in a leopard dress. Uh huh, you. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Somebody worship God. Somebody wants to die. In my spirit right now, I have grabbed the infirmities that sits in this house. And you're being healed right now because I can feel it. Bobby, I'll show you. You're being healed right now because I can feel it. Tonight the Lord cancels the devil's report. He cancels the doctor's report. Cabo Shende. Kebe Shanda. No surgery. Kayaba Shande. Sayaba Shande. Somebody give God a praise because I feel it. Somebody give him a praise because I feel it. I feel healing in the building. I feel healing in the building. In the lower back, I feel healing. In the knees, I feel healing. You're not going to need a knee replacement. I got to go. I do only what my Jesus tell me to do. And I go only what my Jesus tell me to go. Tomorrow night, I see it already. The visitation of angels is in this place. I see them all around this place. When I got up, I saw them. So the Lord said, give, give honor to the heavenly host that is present. We're in the presence of divine of a divine weight of the Lord. I'm processing, watch this, I want you to hear this. The miracles that we have seen and heard as I have moved in the dimensions of God is unbelievable. But I gave the Lord my heart and I said, I don't want this one. I want yours because in yours contain all things.
can, the reason why I can speak it. Because the heart of God had the mind of God in it. And when it has the mind of God in it, it knows what is my future. And it says, I know the thoughts that I think of you. And they are good. I came to bring good news. Somebody don't. Well, Prophet Bynum, you don't know what I've been going through. And you don't know it. I just fell by the wayside. I don't care what, what condition your life is in right now. I came to bring you good news. I came to tell you restoration has already taken place in this place. Somebody just need to lift your hands up. I came to tell you that God done erased it tonight. I came to tell you that God is restored. He's renewed. I came to tell you that the Lord has given you a miracle. A miracle. people of God when God gave me this word about the heart and about what comes in it instantly I promise you the wait was over I would I would tell God so and so so and so so and so and a few hours later my phone would ring I said, God, it just seemed like everything is happening so quick. He said, that's my heart. He said, and everywhere you go, tell the people. I want to give them the heart that comes with miracles. I want to use them. Kathy, I want to use them and lay hands on the sick. But I don't want their head to believe it. I don't want their head to believe it. I want them to know and have this confidence that because I have the heart of God, it produces miracles. It ain't got nothing to do with me because one day he may send me to pray for somebody and I'm sick myself. Y'all ain't saying that. It's not based upon my feelings. It's not based upon my intellect. It's based upon the fact that I got this heart sitting in my chest and all he want me to do is just go and lay my hands. All he want me to do is just speak the word. All he want me to do is just pray the prayer. And the work will be done. How many people did the Lord come for tonight? If you're in this room, you say, the Lord came for me. I feel it all over you. I see it. There's a great ministry in you. And the enemy has fought you for years about your self-esteem. And he's fought you for years about your limitations and even about your weaknesses. And God said, make that not your focus. Just let me give you this new heart. Because I'm going to use you like you ain't never been used before. Now it's time to go back and get all of them. All of them that said you was crazy. How about Shanda never? All of them that said, I ain't going to that church. All of them that said, look at what you done gave up. Help! God said, I'm going to give it back to you. I'm getting ready to use you with all them crazy people you came from because they're going to be saved. They're going to be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. And the Lord said it's going to be house Holy Ghost. The power of God going to fall in the house. They're going to get the Holy Ghost in the kitchen. They're going to get the Holy Ghost in the living room. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me because I told y'all, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus. Some of y'all talking about Jesus going to church. I'm here to tell you, my Jesus getting ready to lead the church. I'm telling you, my Jesus getting ready to go house hunting. My Jesus. So how you get, how you get your body healed? Oh, I was in Gwen's kitchen and we were talking about the Lord and, and she jumped up and went and got the oil and the lump just disappeared. How did you, how did you, I thought you were sick of the Lord for the Holy Ghost. 
You got the Holy Ghost? Yeah, girl, I got the Holy Ghost in Barbara's bathroom. I, we was just talking about the Lord, and I wanted to go to the bathroom, and the power of God hit me, and I, before I knew it, I was getting up off the floor, speaking in tongues. They're going to say, where you, where you, I thought you was on crack. Girl, I don't know what happened. I, I was over Suzette in them house, and, and all I know is she just told me that God said, drink this water. He was going to purify me. Before I knew it, I was out on the floor. No, y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think I'm playing. I even hear the Holy Ghost say that older people are going back to making Holy Ghost cakes. Y'all don't know what Holy Ghost cakes is. Holy Ghost cakes is when you bake a cake and the whole time you're baking it, you're praying and speaking in tongues. And then you start giving a peace to everybody that God told you to give a peace to. No, I done seen this thing work. I done seen it work. I done seen backsliders eat a piece of grandma's cake and get knocked out under the power of the Holy Ghost in their bedroom. I done seen them eat the cake. Oh, my cousin was eating the cake while she was taking a bath. And the Holy Ghost baptized her while she was taking a bath from the Holy Ghost cake. You're going to see people getting delivered over power God breakfast. God going to tell you to invite them over and cook some breakfast. And the whole time you cook is shined out by side. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to fry these eggs and put a little olive oil in here. A little blessed oil in here. While the bacon is frying, I'm going to drop a couple of drops of blessed oil in this grease. Y'all better come on here. Y'all better come on. Oh, you think it don't happen? You think it don't happen? The Bible said that God sent the angel to give the prophets some bread. He said, eat this. You ain't going to tell me that what you can't eat can't bring about a new dimension in a person's life. God just looking for somebody to say, use me. You don't want me to pray for you? All right, I'm going to make you some cupcakes. You don't want me to lay hands on you? That's all right. I'm going to make you a birthday cake. And I'm going to drop three drops of blessed oil in the batter and decorate it and put your name on it and hand it to you while you're going out the door. I'm going to say in the name of Jesus. You better lift your hands up in here. Ain't nobody praying? Souls by any means necessary. Souls by any means necessary for the kingdom of God. And as I stand in this building tonight, I do what my Jesus tell me to do. I promised him. I promised him. Just give me one more chance. I ain't going to let nobody turn me around. Just trust me one more time. Trust me with your power one more time. Out of those and I won't burp unless it's you. I won't make a turn without you. I won't do nothing without asking you. Is this your perfect will? I don't want your permissive will. I don't want you to let me do stuff to make me feel better. I want to know, is this your perfect will? I want to know, Lord, is this is what you're saying to me? Is this where you want me to go? Is this what you want me to do? And when I get there, when most people go home after a meeting, I'm on the plane saying, God, did I do everything? Did I miss anything? Because when I get home and walk into my prayer room, I feel my Jesus embracing me. You can ask my sister. You can ask anybody in here. You walk into my prayer room. Sometimes my sister's coming in and say, oh, Jesus, I, I got to come back later. He says, too thick in here right now. She'll knock on the door and say, never mind, because I can see the glory in this place. I got to have that. I got to be able to feel his presence. I got to be able to wake up in the middle of the night and feel the joy of my Jesus. And what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? And lose 
Jesus. And now that I finally got my soul anchored in Jesus, can't let nobody turn me around. I'm going all the way. All the way with the Lord. And I won't turn back. I won't turn back, Jesus. They can take the whole wide world. I got to go in this building. I had somebody to send me a text yesterday because I was obeying God. And they said, there was a woman because I said this that sold a dollar and 12 cent. And a week later, got a mortgage. I said, God, the place that I'm in now, the realm that he has placed me in, he has asked me not to offend him trying to compel the flesh because he's God. He's God and just like Medina and Bishop is my God children. The Lord said I have God children in every setting that you will go in. A lot of people that come to church, but inside of the building, I have some God children. And he said, my sheep know my voice and the stranger they will not follow. And he said, when I give you to speak, he gave it to me. About three days before Christmas is when I got the prophetic word. And man of God, Somebody came to me, and they gave me a seed, and it was $15,000. And God said, I want you to start sowing $1,012 to everybody I tell you to give it to, and you can't have not one penny of this. And so I told my family, and I said, Christmas is going to be a little late, because I got to obey my Jesus. He starts showing me people and speaking people to me. And I did what he said. When I went to Detroit and that man got that miracle, God said, now, I, every time I tell you to, I want you to do it. I think it's been like now close to 26,000. And it be to people that don't even go to the church. It just said, this lady right here. And I said to God, I said, why? Why? He said, because when I put my spirit on something, and I put my, when the, when the boy brought me the two fish and five loaves of bread, he wasn't the only one out of all them people that had food. Don't fool yourself. Don't be that crazy. But his lunch was the lunch I put my wind on. Somebody better give him a praise. Uh-huh. His lunch. His lunch was the lunch that God chose to multiply. Somebody better give him a praise. Somebody better give him a praise. God wants your lunch. And he said everywhere you go. Everywhere you go in the year 2012. And I don't care if it's in a storefront church. Because you know I'm obeying my Jesus these days. 
And some people send me invitations and they say, Prophet's Bound, we got 200 people. And the Lord said, mm hmm, and you're going. And if they church don't see but 50 people, too bad. Because I called you the millions. So what that means is out of one of them 50, they got millions in them. You better come on here and give God a praise. You better give God a praise. Somebody in here got millions in them or I wouldn't be in here. He ain't called me to nothing little. He ain't called me to nothing small. Everything he called me to do is great. Somebody in here is great. Somebody in here besides her is carrying millions. Or I wouldn't be here. He called me to the nations, not black folk. He called me to the nations, not Charlotte. So somebody's sitting in here with nations in it. And that's why he said to me, no, I have seen, baby. And when I tell you, I got them kind of testimonies now that some of them I can't even tell. Because people say, I don't, for real. And I mean in an instant. Because when everybody was saying, you crazy. I don't know how you did that. I closed my eyes to people. And I just heard my Jesus. Because I know his voice. He just said, do what I tell you to do. And he said, no matter where you go, I don't care if it's a storefront church. He said, I have God children. He said, I want you to call forth 21 of my God children to sow $1,012 because my God children are going to get what their God father has for them. Oh, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I don't shake. I don't tremble. My calm is in Jesus because I done seen it. I done seen it. I done seen people come and say, oh my God, my goddaughter in here tonight. I was in Africa. Where you at, Sandra? She back there at the take table. And I, was, I got through preaching. Come in the doorway, Sister Sandra. I got through preaching wherever she is. And I was, sit, I was sitting in the hotel room in Africa. And everybody went to change their clothes and they left her to babysit me because I was still high in the anointing. And I turned and said, lift your hands up right now because I see something big coming towards you. I said, and God going to use me to get a door open to you. I said, something great going to happen with us. And I said, I want you just to receive it. And she said, mother, I receive it. I said, no, receive it because it's big and it's coming. Did it not happen today? Did it not happen today? What am I trying to say? The day that I walked in this building, what I prophesied for my goddaughter came to pass on the grounds of Charlotte. No, you better open up your mouth. I don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. There are supernatural breakthroughs in this city. No, you don't get what I'm saying to you. I know what I see. Something has dropped in Charlotte. Tonight! He said 21. 21 people in this building. Prophet is by them, you talking to me. Come now and get this envelope. I'm not afraid to stretch. I don't shy. I'm not afraid to trust God. I'm not afraid to give $1,012 because if my Jesus say do it, I'm going to do it. Come now. Come now from wherever you are. Come now. Because the Holy Ghost said all 21 of his God children are in this building. I'm going to give $1,012. Every one of his God children is in this building. Come now. Come now. Hello, Shanda. My God from Zion. Somebody worship God in here. Somebody worship God. See, what you don't understand is when you...